In this movie, we're going to look at how we can use the Adobe Output Module in order to create a web gallery. Now, one of the reasons that you may want to create a web gallery is to post images for a client to review, or you may want to simply post your images online in order to share them with your friends and family. Well, in order to create a web gallery, we're going to first choose a folder of images that we want to post online. In this case, I have these photographs from a magazine photo shoot. Next, I'm going to navigate to the Output Module by clicking on Output. Now, once we're inside of the Output Module, you'll notice that here we can create a PDF document or a web gallery. In my case, I'm going to create a web gallery. Now, in order to open up a little bit more space for the Output Preview panel, what I'm going to do is hover over this dividing line that divides the Folder panel and the Output Preview panel. I will then double click on that line, which will collapse those other panels so I can really focus in on this particular web gallery. Now, one of the things that you notice here is I have a little sample web gallery and I only have one image in this gallery. Well, what I can do is I can select Preview, and here I can preview the different images in this particular folder. Now, I've decided that I want to add all of these images to the web gallery. So I'll click on one, hold in the Shift key, and then click on another. Now, I've selected all five images. Next, I'll navigate back to the Output Preview. Now what I need to do here is actually click Refresh Preview in order to preview this gallery with all of these images. Now that this preview has been rendered, I can click through this gallery and I can see how this works. Press the play button, I have an autoplay slideshow, hide the controls, show the controls, a number of different things. Well, one of the things that I want to do here is I want to customize this particular web gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. I'm then going to navigate to the template menu. Here I'm going to choose one of these different galleries. You'll notice that most of these galleries are flash galleries while there is one HTML gallery. The particular gallery that I want to choose is called Left Film Strip. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. My style is a medium thumbnail style and I'll go ahead and click Refresh Preview. Now this will then create a particular preview of that particular template. Well now that I can see that I realize that I want to customize this a little bit further. You'll notice I have a custom site name there so I'm going to go into my site info. And in my site info panel, I can choose a different gallery title. Now the gallery title that I'm going to choose is Client Review. I can then go through the different site info fields here and change those as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other options. Let's open up the color palette. Now here we can change our background color, our menu, our title, or our thumbnail colors. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and change my background color by clicking on this color swatch here. And then I'll choose a nice dark gray. That looks good. Click OK. Now, in order to see that change, as well as the site info change, I need to click Refresh Preview. Now, once I click that, I'll see a new background color. I'll also see a new title up top. Now, let's say that I'd really like to have this black background gray as well. All I need to do, click on that color swatch and then choose a nice dark gray. Click OK and then click Refresh Preview one more time. So as you can see, your workflow is going to consist of making changes and then pressing the Refresh button in order to preview the web gallery. Let's navigate down to the Appearance Gallery. Now in the Appearance Gallery, we have the ability to show file names, change our preview size, our thumbnail size, and also how quickly the slideshow plays and the slideshow transition effect as well. The last set of options have to do with how you create the gallery. Now in this particular location, what you can do is choose to save this gallery to a disk or you can upload it to your server. What that means is you could post this web gallery on your own website. Now what you would need to do is enter in your domain name information here, your username, and then finally your password. Now that you've entered your FTP information into this location, all that you need to do in order to upload this particular web gallery to your server is to click the upload button. Now before you actually upload your web gallery to your server, it's probably a good idea to go back and press the refresh preview button one more time. That way you're certain that you're viewing the most recent, the most current version of your web gallery. And then finally, it may be a good idea to go over here and press the preview in browser button. That way you can evaluate your web gallery and you can take a look at it, how it will actually look when it's online. So go ahead and press that now. That will then create the gallery. It will then open it up in a web browser. Now this is just showing me a local version of this particular web gallery, but at least I get a feel for the flavor of how this will actually look once it's online. Now that I've evaluated it here, I'm going to go ahead and close my browser and navigate back to the bridge. And now finally, I'm ready to press the upload button in order to post this web gallery online.